Here's the written contract. I'm the one who suggested Just, this, Your Honor. I don't care. You send her this letter, which she doesn't sign. I have her... Just a second. You have her signature? I do. I'd like to see it. If she I have signed her, it... I have her signature on the canceled check. No, 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 no. Your Honor, um, this letter that Cynthia contrived wasn't actually sent to me until mid-March, when she May included it? it in these... Mino there May was not it? a contract that I ever Just agreed to. Just a second. I have this letter dated that is not signed by her. It's dated December 22nd, 2017, and it says, Sheila, in close, please find the $500 check as a non-refundable deposit for Sasha. As we discussed, if you agree to keep the dog for a few weeks, this is December 22nd, and then you put in here, February or so. February 14th or so. That's not a that few weeks. That's two. Just a second. That's two months. That was Sheila's suggestion. For February 14th. Two just and a half second. months? That's what you said. And that's why she, when I sent her the check, the, no, the, the, the thing, here is her, she can't, she, she... Miss Smith. Uh, she took the she, check. Miss Smith, did she send you that letter with the check? In March. In March? March. When did she send you the check? In December? Um, it, December 22nd. Yeah. Just as I look at me. the 22nd. Just look at me. Yes. She sent you the check. On December 22nd, you Yes, the 21st, the we, I had agreed. Um, she had... Sorry. When she sent you the check, was there anything in addition to the check that was in the envelope? No, it's just a check, which I deposited a few days later. Okay. And what you're telling me, then, is in March, she sent you this letter. Yes, in a manila envelope, and then four days later, sent me the identical materials again, in another manila envelope, which didn't make sense, but... Absolutely two makes sense. It absolutely makes sense to me. Oh, it absolutely makes sense to me, Miss Carpenter. Oh, I'm good. I'm glad. What? Right? <laughs> yes. Except it it's not true, you It make You're not getting your money back. Oh. It's not happening. It's, it's not, not happening. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. you I know don't believe... you got that letter. No. I don't believe yes, you. Yes, in March. I... You got that letter on December 22nd. No. I don't think that it's normal for you to say to somebody, you're going to take the dog for a few weeks, the middle of December, and give her a date of February 14th or so. It was Sheila's I idea. I... Just a second. I don't believe you. Don't believe you. It doesn't make sense to me. If something doesn't make sense to me, it's not true. This woman traveled two hours back and forth. Then you made an arrangement with her for a couple of weeks to keep the dog. You didn't come and get the dog. And then mm -hmm. you got another dog. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I, I'm Mark. the friend of... Mark. Uh, Mark was there. A friend. Just want to know from you a date. Do you know on what date she got that dog? You want to know when I got When the... she got that dog. Don't look at her. If you don't know the answer, say, I don't know. I don't know. On what date and from whom did you get that dog? May 10th from Alan, a breeder in uh, San Marcos, California. Great. And you have the dog now? I do. Great. And how much did you pay for that dog? Just curious. $1,500. Now, did you sell the other little... Yes, Sasha. Your Honor. I was able to find her a good stable home. Do you know the name of the person that you sold her to? Rick. How much did he pay you? Um, well, fortunately, I, I had to reduce the price because it's well past the Christmas holidays, and like myself, everyone tends to overspend, so I reduced it to fifty, and I also had to work out monthly just payments. Second. Just a second. So you got twelve fifty. Yes. The dog. Okay. Is he still paying you, or did he finish? Paying? No, he finished in about July. It took a while. But I knew him personally, so I, that's why I was able to set the monthly payments. I trusted him to pay me eventually. How small was this dog? She said it was... Uh, it's four pounds, but at the time it was 14 months old. It wasn't a puppy. It was an adult dog. But it wasn't one that you wanted to use in your breeding program? No. Um, what happened is, about the time, right before I contacted her, I'm a new grandmother. I have three small grandbabies now. And I found myself traveling weeks at a time. And plus, my father's going to be 90 in a few weeks. So I was spending a lot of time with him, with my grandbabies. And I wasn't home at all anymore and I just felt it was extremely unfair to my dogs be gone that much and not have any attention, just home alone, which, so I felt bad, and that's what started the whole progress, and I had remembered Cynthia that she was interested the year before, and um, I told her I had the four-pound puppy, and she just automatically fell in love, and they both came to my home, spent time, and talked to her, and took possession of her, and... That's it. Case is dismissed. We're done. Um, Your Honor? Yeah, I know. I saw the counterclaim. It's so, ridiculous. Parties are excused. You may step out.